far from the English mainland, beyond the end even of South End Pier, our fishing smack puts out in search of whitebait. Once these fish were caught off Gravesend, but pollution forced them nearer to the sea. Now the heavy nets of the longshoremen are hoisted, ready to seek them above the mud off South End shore. Whitebait are temperamental and the net has to be lowered at speed. A moment's delay on the shoal would have darted away. Forty years Eddie Frost been fishing, and he's known times when the water has literally boiled with these fish. All parts of the fish are eatable, but the bones are less tender in the larger fish. So back into the sea they go to re-register with the anglers on the pier, or with the seagulls who've never been too fussy about bones. White bait are the young of the herring and sprat, small fry but highly esteemed. A pale silver in colour, with a greenish hue on the back, they can be caught also in the Clyde and Forth. But only those hand washed in the waters of the Thames estuary have that authentic South End taste. Three to four hundred weights go to a good day's catch. It's a modest return for a hard day's work, and although the life's pleasant enough when the barometer shows fair, it's quite another kettle of fish when the swell builds up over the shallows. The smack will remain on station while the boat pulls back to the shore. Its cargo means delicacies for Londoners and the livelihood for these fishermen off South End Pier.